Hey guys, Mocha Boy here. I've got another CC3D board up on my bench. Uh, I've got a couple of projects on hold right now until parts come in, so I thought I'd uh, just do some quiet soldering. And um, I noticed that a lot of people are still doing the board, so I wanted to just do, do one of these parts in detail. On the first pass, the very first time I tried this, I tried the reflow method with uh, with the STM32 and it didn't work out well for me. It's not to say that it doesn't work, it's just that my particular technique just, uh, just didn't work out. So uh, what we're going to try to do is tack this down and we're going to do a quick drag, drag solder. So just a couple of things on the setup. Um, you need five hands to do this. So um, if you have a pair of helping hands, just make sure they're handy. Uh, one of the first things you're going to have to do is align the chip and what we're going to do is we're going to, um, once I've got everything aligned, I've got this piece of solder just kind of sticking out of my board. I'm going to tap that, grab my solder, and tack it down. Now this is the single most important step with uh, this part of the build because if you get this wrong and the, um, the pins don't register, pretty much nothing you do is going to matter at that point because you'll more than likely end up with bridges and uh, it, it, just, it just makes everything so much harder. So get the tack part down right first and everything will, um, will flow a lot smoother. So. Um, uh, as for tips, I've got the, I think the ETB B tip. It's a two millimeter single edge Weller tip. Um, to get this cleaned actually, where's my solder braid? And then um, for solder, just using a standard 60, uh, 60, 40 blend or 60, 8, 32 or whatever. Um, uh, anyway, so let's get this registered. Uh, you've got the pin one marking with the pin one marking on this uh, silk screened onto the board so that's how you know you're, you've got everything aligned. Uh, we're going to tack this corner and then flip the board over and then tack the opposing corner and then that should free us up to do a clean drag solder so just work. I'm doing this on a, on a high definition camera on a tiny little screen so just bear with me otherwise typically I'd be doing this on a microscope or something but that's that hasn't worked out too well for me for uh, shooting video. <laughs> so just bear with me while I get these registered up. Now, technically, you probably could just tack the top right and then bend, but I'm going to try to do this the right way and just take my time. All right, that should do. All four corners are lined up. Just give it a slight little... <laughs> Yeah, this requires a bit of a steady hand. Um, and it doesn't really pay to have your solder ready because even if you did, and then you mess up, you'd end up having all the rosin burn off before you were ready to, to use it. Okay, that should be about right. Okay, all four are good. That side's nope. Let's try that again. And don't worry about the bridges. We can always clear clean that up uh, afterwards. Okay, let's do that. And yeah, just as I mentioned, I'm so busy talking that I didn't bother to uh, the uh, the resin. The rosin already burned off and now I've got nothing to stick it to the board. Let's see, did that take? Nope. All right. Let's do this the right way. Let's get some flux on there. Yikes. Okay. Let's try this again. I should have practiced this before I videotape, but just so that you know, we're not superheroes. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's get this realigned. Okay, tap, tap. 
tap. Looks good. And again, don't don't worry about how ugly that looks right now. We can go back and clean that up. Uh, what you want to make sure is that everything is aligned. And you will have a little bit of ability to to twist, but not too much. All right. Um, now I can't stress this enough. If you get this part wrong, pull it off and uh, and do it do it over. Because if you get this wrong, nothing else you do is going to matter. So let's flip the board around. Okay, it's slightly off, but that's still workable. Let's get a little bit of flux on there. Using my favorite toothpick. Okay. And then we'll go clean up those bridges afterwards. So, at this point, take one more look. Just make sure everything is aligned, and if it's not, just pull it off and start over. Um, let's double check. Everything else looks good, I think. It's tough to tell in this little viewfinder, but uh, it looks like that worked. Okay, so for the next part of this, what we're going to do is we're going to flood the edges with, um, with flux, and then we're going to just grab, uh, just dab some solder and drag it right across and see what happens. Let's see if what they, uh, they show us in the videos is, is as easy as they make it sound. <laughs> I'm thinking not, but we'll see. All right. Let's get this. Just in case you're wondering what I'm using here, um, I have, I had, I bought a no clean paste flux, um, but actually what I want to do is some, just some liquid brush-on flux. I didn't want to spend another 20 bucks um, ordering any from DigiKey, so I took some of that and just mixed it in with some 99% isopropyl alcohol, and bam, I've got no clean liquid flux. So that was pretty handy. All right, let's see what happens here. Pretty good. Okay, not too bad. Um, got a little bit of a bridge there, but that's okay because the one way you fix that is a lot more flux. So we're gonna put that on there. I know this always isn't the answer, but uh, <laughs> for right now, this will this will do. Okay, that pulled a little more off. And I'm glad you guys saw this part because this is, unfortunately, uh, some what would you have to deal with. And don't be afraid of these bridges. Um, the you can clean these up pretty easily with just a little bit of braid. And obviously, uh, if your technique is right and you're pulling fast enough, you don't have too much solder, then you're usually okay. I'm gonna leave that for right now, but I'll come back to it. And uh, let's see if we can do another one of the edges. I'll show you how I clean that up in just a sec, so. All right. Let's flood that edge. Give a toothpick. Clean my tip. And brace my solder hand, get a drop of solder, and let's drag. Okay, hang on a second, didn't have enough solder. And 
and voila. Okay, we got some more bridging on on that pin and that pin, but again, it's okay. I'll show you how I, how I go in and clean that up. Once we're done, let's just do this side. Okay, make sure I got the right side. Much cleaner. Still got a little bridge on the end, but that's okay. All right, and one more side. Okay, clean my tip. Didn't quite take on the first three pins. There you go. Okay. Looking good. All right. See how easy that was? That wasn't too bad. Now again, um, let's go and clean up those bridges. What I have for this is some basic um, soldering braid that I got from Radio Shack. I did also get some from Kester. Excuse me. From, uh, from DigiKey, it's this stuff. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I got, you know, just a quick note here, I did get one of these with um, flux embedded within the, uh, within the braid and it didn't work out too well for me. Now your mileage of course is gonna vary, but um, I went straight back to the, uh, to the Radio Shack brand because that didn't work out so well. But one of the keys for making this work is more, oh boy, this is gonna be tough to show. Um, let me see. What I have down here is just a film canister, just a clear film, film canister that I put this. Let me see if I can find it. I put this flux paste. That's probably going to be out of focus. I put that flux paste and some 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol and just made myself a nice little slurry. So what I do is I dip this in there like that and then that's what I use to uh, to pull off my bridges if I run into them so let's take a look let's move this around and again I'm glad you uh, got a chance to see some of these bridgings because this is this is important this is what um, I end up having to do most of the time to clean these up all right just press that up against there and bam Right. Good. And you know it's going to take a couple passes, but that's all right. No big deal. Once you get that, uh, once you get that filled up, just cut that off. I'm dipping in my flux paste. And good. Perfect. All right. So that's clean. And we've got these two corners to do. All right. Okay. Cutting my braid. Dipping to get more flux. Okay. Still got a little bit of a bridge left, but that's okay. And we're clean. Let's do this top one. Okay. Cut this braid off. Dip. Oh, it's so much easier <laughs> now that I have the liquid flux. Still there. Okay. And just a quick note on timing. 
I know that it's it's really really important that you not spend too much time on the board. Um, and okay, in this one particular situation, this is this could happen to you from time to time. If you're not transferring heat fast enough to the part, uh, it'll end up binding to the component that you're trying to uh, that you're trying to remove the solder from. Don't tug at it. Uh, if you've been on here for more than 30 seconds or even a minute, it's quite possible that the copper traces and the copper pads could become delaminated from the board and you could end up pulling a trace off of there. So just take your time, don't pull. Uh, if you think you need to, just get more flux on there and um, pull it right off. Yeah, That's pretty good, that came right off. All right, let's see, what else do we got? Just gonna do a quick touch up on this side. And just cut this. Dip. And cool, looking good. All right, so looks like we're in business. Um, I've got a few more bridges in here, but um, I mean, that's okay. It's nothing. Uh, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to fix that off camera. Let me just show you really quickly what I do in those situations. With my braid, I will just deform the tip, not quite pull it apart. See that? You see how the, uh, the pieces, the braid comes undone? What you can do now is you can stick this right in there, actually kind of jam it in there. See that? And then if you heat it up, this will actually reach underneath the legs and grab any solder that, um, excuse me, any solder <laughs> that you can't get on the surface. That's a good way to go in and, and digging for, for some of the solder. So anyway, that's, uh, that's how I do the STM32. Um, I am waiting for some other parts, uh, but I'll do another quick video to show you how I do the, uh, the gyro. But that's again, that, that's pretty simple. It's just a drag solder and then uh, a reflow on top of that. And there are a couple of ways you can do it. You can do it from the top, but one of the best recommendations right now is to do it from the bottom. You cook the board from the bottom and um, it's a lot more gentle on the part. You're not gonna be heating the part to these insane temperatures. So I'm gonna give that a shot and see how that works out. Uh, hope that was helpful and uh, stay tuned for more.